Good morning. And welcome to Winter Pig. Yep. Now, I don't think this snow is going to last very long. I think that uh, it's just a little hint of snow out there. Uh, just enough to make it look white. But I got a feeling that probably next couple of days we might have warm weather and it's going to melt. On the other, other hand, it could get worse. <laughs> okay, today is USS Texas Coffee Cup Day. And I wanted to to remember to tell you that uh, out of the box modeler Paul mentioned uh, gave us a uh, a uh, a link to a, uh, uh, a so, so somebody was talking about my goodness I, think I should reshoot this but <laughs> no <laughs> anyway he gave us a link and uh, the guy who said that the Texas was going to collapse down if you took it out of the water <laughs> or indicated to that. You know, I think he has pulled that. I can't find that anymore. <laughs> anyway, that's that same guy also did a very interesting, uh, uh, I was going to say documentary, but it's not really a documentary, a little, a little clip on the catapults that are on these Iowa class battleships. And it was quite good. Uh, so, yeah, so the same guy that said the Texas will collapse down if it's put, taken out of the, out of the water, uh, he, uh, he also did a, this really interesting clip. You might want to try and look at it. Maybe what I should do is, if I think of it, I'll, I'll put the, uh, uh, the, the link in the description of today's episode. Okay. Now, um, what do we got here? All my clocks, all my automatic clocks, they all set themselves last night. So we must have had a really strong signal coming from WWV in Colorado. Because that's what sets my clocks. And, uh, and if I was to point to it, it, it's right there. I'm pointing almost directly at it, probably within just a few degrees of being off. I looked it up on Google Earth, just kind of curious. What direction do I should I set and turn my clocks to have them pick up the signal? <laughs> so I know where it is. It's it's right out that window, <laughs> about a thousand miles away. Well, maybe not that far. Uh, anyway, we never did come back to the model table yesterday, and um, I did not change the blade. I haven't done anything. We're going to do that all today. Um, at about 10 o'clock, I've got to go and get groceries this morning, so that's going to sort of interrupt things. And uh, I'll be getting my own groceries this time. I won't be getting my neighbor's groceries. <laughs> oh, my neighbor, he made it to Mazatland yesterday. I got a, an email from him. He wants to, uh, he wants to talk to me, uh, uh, a, a video chat, uh, at the regular time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, I, I think uh, po possibly the the it may become more of, of a bother to him because uh, you know he's got places he can go and things he can do, and it's sort of easy for me. I just have to make sure I'm sort of sitting in front of my computer at three thirty in the afternoon because that's when we when we used to do it. And uh, you know, I'm starting to ramble here. <laughs> I, I can hear this clicking sound. That's mice. <laughs> clicking clicking my channel off <laughs> okay uh, let's uh, sort of recompose here get our blade changed see if we can get the flashing off of this <laughs> you didn't think I knew that trick <laughs> okay uh, yeah let's let's carry on here There we go. Okay, now the tip of that should be pristine. Okay, there we should have at least, uh, oh, I'm guessing about uh, 280 left because I think there is 300 in there. 
and this one here before I throw it in the garbage usually what I do is I kind of wrap paper around it and then I throw it in the garbage uh, yeah you know there's probably a lot of stuff like this in our in our junkyards that person would not want to step on because this is still fairly sharp okay I've got most of the flashing and sprue connection removed from that one it started out looking just like this one and uh, we've got a little bit around the end there that we're going to try and remove I don't know if I can do too much with with this um, I don't even know what that's supposed to be maybe when we get the macro lens on and we, we move right in we'll be able to see but uh, yeah let's get the macro lens on okay I don't think I'm going to want to be trying to take any more of the seam line off the sides there. I'm going to probably end up breaking this. But I do think that possibly I can do a little bit around this thing right here. Um, I'll recompose, try and get in nice and close. But it, it's, it's a lot better than it was anyway. Okay, I've taped this down onto a glass slide here. And the idea being is so that when I later push down on it. I've got a hard surface here that it's going to come up against. Give, give a little bit of support. Let's uh, recompose and move in just a little bit closer. Okay, this is as close as I can get without putting on the super macro. Now, you can see right here I'm going to try not to tremble as much as I did yesterday. There's a little little pin that has to obviously go into a little hole on one of those parts that we cut off. Now, I, I may not be holding this at the best angle for you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to try and see if I can't get rid of that. I don't know if that's going to cut off or is it going to end up fold, just folding looks like it's just folding away on me this this may not work out the way I had planned no did I get rid of it or is, yeah I got rid of it okay now let's just turn it now the other way now clearly you can't see what's what's happening in behind there did I get it or did I just fold it down I got most most of it okay now where we have okay now where, where the the pin itself is You know what, I think I think right about now people are saying, well, you know, why don't you uh, put your foot down on it and uh, hold to hold it down, then you can use both hands a little better. And, uh, but I, wanna, I just want to give you perspective here. Okay, we're working with something really, really small. And it's, it's easy to, to forget when we're looking at it so close with the macro lens. Now there there is the other thing that that when we uh, put the the uh, probably I'll use uh, to me extra thin and it it will dissolve this flashing. I just I just want to get it so that it it goes down into the hole. Okay, and as far as the as far as the flashing on the seam goes on the shaft itself, I think I pretty much got that. Okay, let's. Uh, Stop wasting time. There's a little bit right in here. Maybe, maybe I could get 
See if I can get this. It's uh, it's better than it was. Let's put it that way. Now, about an hour before I was going to go to Superstore, in fact, it was pretty much exactly at nine o'clock, I turned on my car warmer. You'll remember I have that heavy-duty car warmer heater in the back of my car, uh, about 4,800 watts, I believe it is. And uh, I'll do a time lapse here. I'll speed it up oh a hundred times or so, and you. Just sort of, to get a comparison, you watch my neighbor's car in the background. Now I know you've heard me complaining about winter probably to the point of exasperation. Your exasperation. <laughs> yeah, well it's true. I'm finding it harder and harder to do just the simplest things. Even getting the snow off my car. It's a big deal now. I have to be so careful I don't trip and fall down and all, all kinds of silly things that <laughs> I never had to worry about years ago. But that's the way it goes. I guess I shouldn't complain. I can still do it. <laughs> and you know how we like to joke around about Murphy's Law. Well, just about the time I'm ready to sticker and drive and head off to Superstore, the garbage truck blocks me in. <laughs> Not for very long, however. Yippers! What's that famous saying that Winston Churchill used to like to say? This is the beginning of the beginning of winter, or something like that. Uh, I guess he didn't like winter either. Now everything went pretty good. We got back here, but you know, I had the last laugh on Murphy's Law. Now Murphy's Law dictates that of the three boxes that you're going to be bringing in out of the car, the one that is going to have the eggs is the one you're going to drop, right? Well, I almost tripped. <laughs> but I didn't. So I guess I had the last laugh on Murphy. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the model table. Okay. Groceries are all put away. Uh, and a lot of time has passed here. Now... Let's see if we can do the first part of the first part of number eight. Gee, it sounds like Winston Churchill again, doesn't it? Okay, so this is the first part right up here. And we have to take... This is, this is obviously the base. If you notice it's kind of square on the bottom. So I would think that there's only basically one way it can go onto the... Well, no, actually there'd be four ways it could go onto the, onto the deck. But um, we want to be able to have this thing put together in such a way that the crane is going to look believable. Um, mind you, I guess if you can have it one of four different ways. Okay, I'm noticing that there's a, a little, looks like a little notch right there. And just, just let me put on my stronger glasses here. Okay, I'm looking at that notch now. Um, okay, so that would have to go something like like this. Yeah, that looks. Whoops. Okay, it's twisted. It's a nice tight fit. That's nice. Okay. So let's get it to the right orientation, at least at least for me, so that that little notch is uh, towards me. Then this piece here that I didn't break when I cleaned the flashing off of it, and I know that somebody's going to say, "Oh, I see you did a, do a very good job." Well, that's too bad. All right. So this is going to go like this. You know what, I should really recompose here. I think I can probably, you know, get in at a little better of an angle here for putting this together. Okay. I've 
I've decided I'm going to use the extra thin quick setting. I don't think melding is going to be a big deal here. Should I maybe just put put some in right here and, and get these two pieces together? And uh, now let's remember we don't have to we don't have to give it a bath. That should be just fine. And this one here, should we let gravity be our friend? If we can. Um, this should go in like this, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go like that. Now, I wonder if I was to use the self-locking tweezers and, and grab it by the square peg. Uh, where, are, where are my self-locking tweezers? Okay, it's a good thing that I can cut out the dead spots. Alright, now, how should we have this so that everybody can see it? Maybe if I was to grab it like this, it'd get a little bit more, more of a force on it, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Then... I'm gonna try and... Hmm. Now I want to. I want to be careful now when I'm when I'm forcing around on this that I don't accidentally break this off. Wonder if maybe maybe to let gravity be our friend, we have to come in at a different angle. You know, it could be that I'm going to have to do this off camera because I just can't get in here right now. My, my fingers in your, are in your road, and I'm not at the right angle for my road. Okay, um, I'll be back. Okay, I got it in there. And the way I did it was I softened the square hole with some uh, uh, extra thin, not the quick setting. And then it uh, went in pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Now... I, I realize that uh, we are having a short episode today, but you know I've got other stuff that's happened and went on, and uh, you know if I, as I've said so many times before, if you push this hobby, uh, it, it's it's going to get to the place where you don't want to do it anymore. In other words, the fun is out of it. So I know we beat that uh, aspect of it and that theory to death. So I'm going to cut today's episode off. Uh, once again, I don't know if I'll be uh, coming at it again later or not. I kind of think I might, but then I've thought that before. And then as time rolls on, I uh, just don't feel like uh, doing it. So uh, we'll see what happens. In the meantime, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>